Hi, this is Ed Robledo from the Fusion 360 family. I hope all is well and you're staying safe. There have been some amazing new features and improvements added to Fusion 360 in its latest update. We've expanded the library content as well as optimizing electromechanical workflows. Need to move that micro USB just a few millimeters to fine tune its placement within the enclosure? No problem. Stay tuned. I'm going to tell you all about it. For our PCB designers, you're going to really appreciate the innovative capabilities of push and shove. We're no longer limiting it to manual routing. Let's go ahead and take a look. Our team has continued to expand the library content for Fusion 360. In this update, we have now included the Atmel AVR microcontroller series, the Mega 16, 32, 64, 1280, are just a few to mention. You'll find these updates in the IC Embedded Library. In addition, they have added a couple of step-up voltage converter ICs to the IC Power Management Library. There'll be times that changes or updates to the enclosure affect the PCB layout. This could be due to an obstruction to access external connector, or it was simply placed in the wrong position. Traditionally, these updates would require for the mechanical engineer to de deliver the exact measurements to the electronic engineer. That way he can make the appropriate changes. Wouldn't it be ideal if the mechanical engineer simply make these changes in the design workspace? Then have these updates reflected in the PCB in a matter of moments, saving you all sorts of time, not having to go through a long threads of emails, phone calls, and a set of file conversions, which will delay production or prototyping. I hope you're sitting down to hear all about Edit in Place. The development team have been hard at work and now have made this possible. With 3D PCB inserted into your assembly enclosure, use the new edit in place capabilities to modify component placement. These changes will be reflected in the PCB layout. The best part is if changes are done to the 2D layout, it will actually trigger updates to the design workspace. This guarantees that the mechanical engineer is always working with the latest version of the PCB. It is unavoidable that changes will need to be done to your design. There will be instances that new components will need to be added or changed. Traditionally, these changes required moving or deleting of existing traces to make space for the new assets, rendering all the efforts you spent routing a waste of time. Now, in Fusion 360, obstacle handling is no longer restricted to the routing commands. This is now a PCB editor capability available in all appropriate commands. As such, the options for what to do when a violation occurs is now on the navigation toolbar rather than on the route command panels since it is now an editor setting. With the push violator option enabled, traces and vias will move out of the way to accommodate the placement of unrouted components. With this new feature, you'll exponentially optimize your design time. There are three font options available in the Fusion 360 Electronic Editor, Vector, Proportional, and Fix. Traditionally, our manufacturing output converted all text font to vector, which resulted in discrepancies between the manufactured board and what the designer saw on the screen. With this update, we have enabled our CAM processor to support all available fonts. This ensures that the font used in the board design will match exactly what the Gerber output generates. Looking forward to seeing some of your truly creative boards using multiple fonts. Traditionally, the Ratsness command required to be manually invoked to recalculate the shortest possible distance between signals. From now on, this action is now performed interactively, saving you hundreds of clicks. As you move your components, you'll notice your signal connection will snap to the closest path. Let's now switch to the Fusion 360 Electronic Library Editor. In our last update, we learned about Fusion 360 Manage and Link Library, making it easier for Eagle users adopting Fusion 360 to access and merge their libraries. The library editor has a brand new interface in addition to the content manager updating in real time. The change update icon 
indicates there's a new update available for a particular asset. Use the context menu to update to the latest version of the asset. Selecting a package from a link library will reveal a direct link to library.io. From there, you can access all the published content, including thousands of 3D models. Changes made on library.io will trigger the update icon in Fusion 360 for particular assets. Once you've done the update, the model you selected in library.io can be edited in Fusion 360. So you no longer need to download models from the web and upload them in Fusion 360. All this and more with Fusion 360.